In part one of this series, we answered questions one and two, and in part two, we'll answer the last question, question three, where we're asked the function f is equal to x to the power of two plus y, y to the power of two minus three, z to the power of two. Find the derivative of f at the point one, one, and one in the direction of this vector. And they've asked for the derivative, but I think they meant partial derivative. So just like what we did in question number one, we have to find the unit vector of our vector u. That's done by taking each of these coefficients, one, one, and one, squaring them, and square rooting the whole thing, which should give us the magnitude of our vector u. And now we should have the square root of three. We'll take that as our denominator and divide each of these by that. So one square root of three, one square root of three. And this represents our unit vector. Notice that we've put this hat, which symbolizes that it's the unit vector. Once you find the unit vector, you need to find the partial derivative with respect to x, y, and z. Let's start with x. It should be easy. That becomes 2x at y. That becomes 4y. And at z, that becomes negative 6z. Evaluating this at 1, 1, and 1, this becomes a 2. This becomes a 4. And this is negative 6. So our gradient of our function, represented like this, x, y, z, is a vector at 2, 4, and negative 6. And we multiply this by the unit vector, the dot product, if you will. So we'll multiply this by that, and then add it to the product of this with that, and add it to the product of this with that. 2 over the square root of 3 plus 4 over the square root of 3 plus negative 6 over the square root of 3. 2 plus 4 is 6, minus 6 is 0 over the square root of 3. And that is the amount of change our function has been through starting at the point 1, 1, and 1 and moving in this direction. 0, nothing, no change at all. And there you have it. That is how to find the gradient of a function in 3D.